Hollywood Wheels. Uh, morning guys, it's me. We're back for another one. Welcome back to uh, welcome back to the Fight and Talk channel. So what we're doing today, I'm down here to basically work on the Cavalier. The Cavalier has had 35 hours worth of welding. Do you remember this is the V6 Cavalier that I rescued from my neighbor's driveway? It'd been sat there for three years, never moved. I've had a drive of it, private land in Mexico. I had a drive and it goes really well. So today it's had its welding done. Every single bit of welding has been done. Anything on the sills. Not only that, the guys who did my welding have also repaired all the previous welds that were all shite. So thank you very much to all you people who did the welds before, they were terrible. So this has had a ton of welding, preventative stuff as well, future proofing it. So it's a future classic, absolute sleeper. It goes really well, <laughs> I can't really, because they're so light. New cars like, are so heavy naturally because of all the safety stuff. And this is just fast and unsafe. <laughs> Parts galore, got literally on my, on my racking. Look at me looking like a pro. Today the plan is oil change, brakes, then it can go in for its MOT. Hopefully it'll pass. It needs a good old detailing, which I'm gonna do at some point when I get, when I get two seconds. Uh, but I wanna get the mechanical stuff done first. So service, brakes, let's go, let's get it done. Oil drained, filter is off. I'm gonna let that now sit because a recovery has just come in. I'm off to do a recovery in the new truck. We're in the new truck, the six wheel truck. We've got our first job. Well, it's not. I've done about 15 jobs in this now, but uh, this is the first job I've filmed. So it's technically the first job, clickbait. <laughs> uh, how we been? Hope you're all okay. Uh, this is gonna be an exciting one. Well, it's not really, it's pretty basic. Someone's broke down, they're at Newark and they want to come back to Sleaford. So they are not with the vehicle. I have the keys. I got the secret. So we're going to pick them, pick up their car from the petrol station. I might get a coffee whilst on there. Oh, big letdown on the old uh, six-wheeler front. It might have six wheels, but it's got no cup holders. Who builds a car without cup holders? Right, the name. We need to discuss this. You're all talking about calling it Jaffa because of the reg and because of the colour. I can change the reg, and I'm thinking about changing it. I am going to change the reg. I've got a plan of what I'm going to change the reg to. However, I gotta tell you this straight up. Now there is a theme on my channel. Every vehicle's named after a London gangster. So we've got Lenny after Lenny McLean, Reggie, Ronnie. But I do wanna continue the theme of the London gangsters. When I was at school, now I appreciate I am probably a little bit older than a lot of you that were commenting. I feel like there's maybe a whole generation of people that don't realize what a Jaffa is. And we used to call people Jaffas. He's all right, Jaffa. And it kind of means, if you Google it, Google it right now, there you are. It means an impotent or an infertile man. So basically, you want me to name my truck something about a guy who is unable to sustain or achieve st stimulation. And if you've seen the size of the truck, you know that this can get it. This is not a Jaffa. We're not calling it Jaffa, end of chat, right? I don't care if you're offended. Go and be offended somewhere else. But the other thing is Tango. Yeah, okay, I get it. It's a bit, Tango's a bit of a lame name. Tango, and I, I won't be able to say it without being in a, in a Northern accent. So I have kind of come up with a name that is gonna be a big reveal because we've got to get it written on the bonnet. That's what we do with our vehicles. And it is a name that quite a lot of you said. I have uh, listened and it will be, all will be revealed, but it was, is gonna be a London gangster name. So if you don't like it, you can report me to Ofcom. But yeah, sorry guys, it's just not, it's just not, it's not, I can't call it Jaffa. That's just not happening. Uh, right, so we're off to Newark now. I'm on the roundabout of death. Hopefully we live. I'll tell you what I love about this, right? Is women, females, do not even remotely notice it. It's really funny, it's like a social experiment. You can sit there, a hundred cars will go past with females in and they don't even notice that it's got six wheels. They won't even notice that it's got a whole other axle. People are just like, I lo and I kind of like that. You drive past a bloke mowing his lawn and he's like, like that. <laughs> you can see him staring and smiling. It makes people smile. I mean, you know, and that's what I'm here for is to make men smile, a bit weird. Okay, 
Okay, so it should be in here somewhere. the most important job when you drive a spec is uh, we've got to go in the shop and get some road snacks. <laughs> ah. One of the jobs I had done is this, look, permanent feed for my uh, for my lights. So it's always uh, always in there, the dongle, so you can get the lights on. Let's give them a quick test. And there we go. Happy days. Right, let's get them on the back. Don't forget your snacks, stupid boy. in the shop I've literally seen this from outside from inside the shop some self tappers there that have failed on that spitter and uh, I don't want to get the blame for that I definitely didn't do it my beacons on my lights are on on the car uh, I've removed that um, that bit of splitter that I, that I noticed and now we're off so let's get this uh, let this get this back to Sleaford back to its owner Tell me what you think, tell me in the comments. What do you think of the spec, the mighty spec that is not gonna be called Jaffa because it's got a mighty erection <laughs> on the back. I'm so sorry, I can't help it. I can't help being how I am. Hollywood wheels. If you're an old school spec driver and you're like, oh, I had one of those, like that equipment. Someone mess someone sent a message or put a comment on the other day saying, oh, I used to have this equipment and I had this on it, this attachment, this attachment, and it was brilliant, it was class so if you if you've got any ideas um, of, of how we can make this better or make it work well like let me know and I'm, I'm all up for doing it I'm all up for improving it but I love this I honestly I love this spec what did someone put in the comments last week right obviously my video of me buying this got quite a lot of views so there's quite a lot of new people on the channel and someone put uh, you need to sell that piece of shit and buy a uh, buy a transit spec I was like yeah thanks for that mate what's some of my older stuff I love the way this tows, it tows beautifully, it'll sit at 40 mile an hour, 50 mile an hour, absolutely sweet. You don't even know there's anything on the back. A great bit of kit, let me know in the comments what you think of it in action. Uh, it's brilliant, I love, love driving it, love towing with it. It just makes people smile and that's what it's all about. That's what this channel's all about. Okay, 
we're back in Sleaford now. Let's um, get this. That was a faultless drive. It was perfect all the way back. Love it. I love this truck. Drives like an absolute legend. The only thing that this truck is not as good as uh, Charlie is the visibility out the back and the turning circle. But other than that. Okay, we're at the customer's house. We've been here before. Do you remember the video? We picked a dog groomer up from there. Do you remember that? Got a YouTube channel. He's part of the family already. He's got the decals on. Hey, uh, boy! I'm gonna go back to the unit and finish servicing the Cavalier. Come on, let's put you on the windscreen. So that's uh, that's pretty much the end. That's uh, this is where I'm gonna end it. Thank you very much for coming along. I hope you enjoyed the new truck. I will reveal the name soon. But if you've got any more ideas and they got lots of likes or they get mentioned a lot, then stick them in the comments. Uh, listen to this. It's quick. It's quick. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming along, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll get to see plenty of this. Once I get that winch replaced, I am getting a new winch put on. Well, I'm going to fit a new winch. Uh, hope probably next week. I've spent about well, I've spent about 600 quid this week on bits for all vehicles. So uh, the winch might have to just wait a little bit. However, this will be getting a new winch. Nice big juicy winch on the back, and then we can go and pull people out of ditches with it. So hope you like what you see. If you've enjoyed it, then. Come along again. I look forward to welcoming you back to my channel on the next one. Thanks guys, have a great week. Much love, see you on the next one. Don't look before you leave. What you give, you get to keep. So long, farewell, bye-bye.